Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a lesson that's interactive from your that you can add and make Google Slides and make an assignment in Schoology. Say you have a worksheet like uh, this one, Energy Flows Through Ecosystems. And say you don't have a scanner, you're trying to copy this picture. So what I've done is I'll take a picture of it on my phone and email it to my school account. Let me show you that. So I emailed it to myself. I downloaded the picture. Okay. And once I downloaded it, I go into and start to create a presentation on Google Slides. So I'm just going to label it energy flows through ecosystems okay and my first slide I'm gonna delete these so it's just um, it's blank okay so it's a blank slide and let's try and get that out okay and you're gonna insert I'm gonna insert an image upload from computer and I know that it's this one I just did it okay you can title it too if you want so we can put energy flows through ecosystems and we're going to open that it's not gonna let me because I didn't save it under that name. Okay, so anyways, just open up that file. I know that's the picture I wanted. Okay, so the good thing about Google um, Docs is that you can format. You have format options, and I want to change the position. I'm gonna rotate it first. Okay, so I want to rotate it till it's forward, okay? And I'm going to um, try and position this more in the middle, okay? So that they can see the whole document. It's kind of going over on the top a little bit in the bottom, but that's okay. Um, but you could... Um, make it so that it fits too okay and rearrange its height and its width so that it fits the page better okay and you just play around with that however you're going to uh, do the width let me see if I can get the bottom. It's doing the same thing. But you can play around with this. Say if you had a picture and you wanted to uh, crop it or to change it. You can always go in here. There's different options. Uh, crop is here. Like say I wanted to cut half the picture. We just hit that. If you only want to show the top. Okay. All right. So I have this. At least it's on there. And now I'm going to add another slide. Um. And you could, you know, do your background. I'm not going to dull you with this. I'm just trying to show you that you could add, say you wanted a worksheet, you could do the same thing. That's what I've been doing, adding it as a document. Okay, so say color, you're done. Um, and you put the title here, energy flows through um, ecosystems. Okay. You guys get the idea and then what I've been doing like say you have a question for the students you could say uh, give one example give one example of how energy flows through ecosystems okay and then for them to give an answer what I've been doing is inserting um, a shape, okay? You pick whatever shape you want. I'm going to put like a rectangle 
okay? And then what I told the kids today is they have to type in the blue box for their answer, okay? Anyways, so this would be your document from Google uh, Classroom, okay? And then you would go into your, say your classroom, pick a classroom, class to add it. Okay, and then say, um, I want to add an assignment. I'm just going to say it's an assignment. Okay, and then we're going to title the assignment, Energy Flows Through Ecosystems. Okay, um, please review and answer question okay and then when you're down here you're going to sign from an app i'm going to sign google drive assignments okay that should have everything that's uh i've been working on so here it is energy flows through ecosystems i'm going to attach that and once you attach it it says right here this will create a copy of your file for each student so they'll be able to, I'm just going to say it's due today because this is a fake assignment. Um, and we're going to say that it's a uh, blended learning. And we'll say that um, set it midterm. We're going to leave it at quarter one for grades. And it's telling you it'll sync with the grade. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Um, you could also put uh, alignment. You could put the standards, okay, or individually assign this, lock it, publish it. I'm going to publish it just so we have it on here so I can show you what it says. Okay, so then I have it shown in this class, Eagle Systems. Okay, let's get out of there and go back to that class so you see where it is so you can show the students. So it should show right here, okay? Right on the right, it shows upcoming energy flows through ecosystems, okay? Then they would go into that assignment. And theirs will say on the top to submit or to edit. And they're going to edit it. And this is where they would go into the document. Okay, and then they'll see the first uh, sheet the picture that we wanted them to look at and then the second sheet will be where they put their answers give one example of how energy flows through ego systems they can type right on the square okay whatever their answer is and then they'll hit submit that's how you can do an interactive lesson through Schoology and through Google Docs thank you